Hello guys, hope all of you are doing great. In this part of the video, we'll be seeing how we can make use of procedures to make our code much simpler. So we'll be seeing an example. See here, by this time, we already have written the procedure to display numbers, both signed and unsigned on the screen. That part is done, say. And then now what we'll be doing is using that procedure, now we'll try to display the content of an array on the screen. So what I mean is, say for example, we have a, an array of 16-bit numbers, say. So just consider, suppose we have an array, array one or something of words, so the word, and there we have some numbers, both positive and negative. Say for example, 12, 34, some, uh, you know, some negative 908 and then say 87 then say 45 or 54 or whatever and then the last number we are assuming that the number is minus one that minus one is not actually the number uh, which is there in the array it is just to indicate that okay that is the end of the array under approach you can take you can store or you can declare a variable say for example uh n the word and say there you can store how many numbers one two three four five numbers are there so you can do like you can fix n there somewhere or what you can do is without this n also you can uh, you can work but you have to uh, uh, you know put a number at the end of the array that will mark the end of the array got the point for simplicity i'm assuming minus one is the the the, the termination symbol sort of clear okay now what we want to do is now we want to display all these numbers on the screen from 12 to 54 all right okay so how to do that so for that reason you see here we know how to iterate over these array elements one by one that thing is quite simple but the difficult problem was like how to display this number uh, i know b of i b of zero b of one b of two okay but displaying the number was a problem but since we fixed that problem in our previous part of the video i think we can write this code in just 10 minutes okay then let's begin Okay, the first thing that we want to do is that we want to iterate over the array. So for that reason, we have to load the effective address of the array to some base register. Say for example, PX and there what we want, we want the effective address of the effective address of the array. Like, you know, uh, make, point, make BX to point two, uh, ARR1, that is BX is now pointing to array. And then also we want to use the source index registers as the index of the array. So we'll be writing X or SI comma SI. Basically it is doing, uh, you know, set SI to zero. That's all it is doing. Okay, done. Now we want to iterate over the array elements. So for that reason, what we'll be doing is uh, we will be directly, you can do a comparison, but for simplicity, what I'll be doing is I'll be moving I'll be moving, I'll be moving whatever it is pointed by this BX plus SI, BX plus SI to AX register, okay? And then I'll be comparing. First, basically what I want to do is I want to like, oh, okay, that's all. Since I'm using this, you know, a minus one as the end thing, so we'll be doing a comparison uh, and we'll be comparing AX with minus one and jump on equal it means if it is equal then we are done like we are done with the program so done now i'll be writing like done here itself so done right now done and terminate program both of them are same it can happen no problem move bx comma si uh, and then compare ax with minus one if it is minus one jump on equal done done means terminate the program but if it is not minus one then what if it is not minus one i want to call i want to call that display and procedure okay so right now we want to call a procedure that can actually display me the number so display and procedure we have to write but since we wrote it we'll be copying it in a moment but before that suppose that display and is there we have displayed the number on the screen and after that we want to go back and we want to take the next number so unconditional jump and take the take next number next number and what is this take num text next sorry take next number level where this take next number level should be it should be to at this particular point actually you take the next number pointed by bx plus si compare it with minus one if it is minus one then if it is equal oh, sorry i just wrote jump equal down here it's not here actually 
it's here if it is equal then we are done it means we reach the end otherwise we'll call display end function that will display me the number and then which is there in ax register it's uh, to display to display ax okay on the screen and then we'll go to the next number and the next number and the next number everything seems right only one thing that one thing is that when we go to take the next number we want to set the index right so we have to actually increment si twice why twice because because we are or you can add si comma two that's also fine so you have to increment si twice because twice cause uh because let me write because in this way because uh we are iterating iterating over over a word array means 16 bit array so uh, if you add one as i say for example three then add one means it will make four so it will be pointing to the fourth byte but we don't want to fourth byte the fifth byte we want right so that's why we are increasing si byte uh, you know two two bytes at a time we want to increase so si is increased by twice and that's all now say for example now we have to write this display procedure display procedure so we'll be writing it now take next number so next number next number and one is done it is done and uh, then we'll be writing this procedure now so we have to write this procedure we will copy eventually but then also let's start something here um, so this is our procedure this is our return this is our uh, end procedure and procedure directive done this is our basic skeleton of the procedure and whenever we call the procedure let's say we store in a h we store say for example 0 2 this we just display a character okay in 21 h and then i store move say for example a into the dl register and done and done and done so every time i call the procedure what basically am i doing is i'm storing a in dl and then i'm displaying that a on the screen just to check whether we are iterating over the array properly or not so this way if i execute the code as many numbers are there in the array that many is i'll be able to see it on the screen if up to that point everything is fine then we can replace this procedure function with the actual function right the actual code okay okay let's now go and execute this program if everything is fine we should be able to see one two three four five a a's on the screen okay so task some youtube program 17.asm there is an error this time that is uh, illegal instruction at line number 23 at line number 23 this is move i'm sorry you you knew this from the beginning no because you were seeing the video you saw like okay so you did that mistake and it will not going to work you can see my future in some way and uh, so this now there is no error nothing so you can write the link uh youtube program 17 and youtube program 17 done you are seeing one two three four five a's on the screen it means we are iterating over the array in the right way see here uh, the, the advantage of considering this uh, in our terminator is that you don't have to like if i store some next few numbers there like say 21 had it been an n there had there been an n where you are storing the number like initially five this time you actually have to count them and you have to write the actual value but if it is this this thing you are using the advantage is that automatically you don't have to count them manually never ever automatically it will it will iterate over the array as many uh you know as many times as there are numbers there okay so how many numbers one two three four five six seven eight so eight is we'll be able to see on the screen if everything is right okay if you count one two three four four five six seven eight is okay yeah there is one disadvantage that disadvantage is that this cannot be that is if you suppose this is an actual minus one is actually there in the array it will not work so what if i try to now display run this program what it will do it will display me only two a's there because as soon as it sees this minus one it will see okay that is the end of the array and it will stop there okay so this time it will it will it will you know show me only two a's there but the point that is obviously the disadvantage um 
but for the time being for simplicity you're assuming minus one is not a valid number it will never come in the array it is just the you know terminator okay done now we know that how to iterate over the content of the array and everything is done all the thing is that we just have to write this this part like display procedure properly and luckily in our previous video we wrote the code for display procedure we are going to simply copy that part and um, see this is our display number procedure there from here i'll be calling it uh, i'll be copying it till the end so let's say display number procedure okay and this new line procedure also let's copy in the same go i'll copy these two procedures and i'll i, I don't need this procedure anymore so i'll be deleting them and i'll be pasting it here okay done if you have the code previous code you also can do the same copy pasting or what am i doing is i'll scroll down and you can like pause the video and you can write the code and this is an extra procedure i copied at the same time a new line procedure just to display a new line if i ever need it and then this is the end of the program okay now in this procedure i just want to do one thing here move dl comma since i i'm changing dl and ah here so it's a good idea as i said in my previous video that push both these two resistors like dx resistor it will cop it will actually push both dhdl so put push this dx resistor into the stack and also push push this uh, what one ax resistor into the stack okay so that way if i change now dl and h inside the procedure it will not be affecting the other part of the code as long as i restore them so first i'll be popping ax because i have to do that thing in reverse order so pop ax and then pop dx okay pop ax and pop dx these two lines are important actually so that you do not change anything accidentally and later on like you know it, it will be difficult otherwise to find problems in your code okay if you don't take this precaution specifically when you're writing programs in languages like 8086 okay okay done now since we have that uh, display procedure ready now with us with this 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 part so if i run this program this time i should be able to see all these numbers coming on the screen but one after another okay but that will that will be fine like for the first time if i execute it and uh, i just want to see whether everything is working fine or not okay all these numbers it seems like 12 34 minus 908 then 87 then last one is so 21 last one is 21 it seems they are working fine but I want to display a comma, say. See, I can display new line, like all the numbers I can display on different lines just by, you see here, just by calling here. In, from inside this procedure, I can call that new line procedure. Where am I doing it? You display the number and display the string. And after displaying the string, this is display number, no? Like, see here, here, here. here. What am I doing is, you see, load the effective address, then take the next number, if it is done then it will go to done otherwise call display number that is it will display whatever it is in ax one number is being displayed okay after displaying this number before you go to take the next number some take the next number here i want to call i want to call say that new line uh on a procedure so what it will do is basically it will display new line and then it will go for the next line so this way if i now execute the program it will show me all the numbers in different lines and that is quite readable now 12 34 minus 908 87 54 65 7 67 and 21 31 done great right now suppose we don't want to display them on new line we just want to put some commas there so that also you can do uh how do you do that so you can do that by just by writing another procedure then the new line procedure or then you can write a new uh, as a comma procedure or something it's your name huh comma uh, procedure and push this 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 but this time not dx 10 we want to do we want to write a comma and rest of the things are same so if you want to write a comma then you will be doing here mm, 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 mm. display the number instead of new line you want to put a comma only problem will be one extra comma will be coming at the end but i think 
Uh, if you have understood, you can fix that problem by yourself. This extra new line is coming at the end, you know, same thing, extra comma will come. There is an error, surprisingly. What's that? Uh, unmet and B new line. What is it? At the line is 117. Where did I do the mistake? 117 new line and B. What is okay? This is not new line and B. I'm sorry for that. This is comma and B. Okay, done. And then I run and run and run. And you see 1234. This, this, this. As I said, that comma is coming at the end. All right, okay, okay, done. So that is how you can you know, see here now your procedure thing. Like, as soon as you have that procedure, things are much easier now, right? So that is the advantage of having a procedure. Now, suppose now you have to write a program that displays, say, for example, it finds the largest number present in an array and then it displays that largest number. You can make use of this, this, this procedure. I mean, display number procedure. Like you first find out the largest number. Once it is done, then you can call this display number procedure, assuming that you have that display procedure with your, uh, in your program, then it will simply display that number on the screen. Okay, guys, then that much only in this part of the video. So I request you people, you try out some of the examples of your own. Say, for example, you try to display the, the, uh, the Fibonacci series or maybe try to display an array in the reverse order or or uh, not trying to find out the sum of the numbers present in an array and display it on the uh, as the output all these different things you just try to make sure that you people are comfortable in writing code uh, uh, in, in H086 okay okay guys then that much only in this part of the video in the next part we, we have seen now we know how to display the numbers on the screen the next part will be like how we can take numbers as an input from the user and you know like uh, you know take them as like input to a program okay that is the one part is done displaying it on the screen now the next part is how to take input from keyboard and process the data inside a program okay that is we have sort of if you know c programming we have done sort of printf percentage d and all this thing is done now the scanf part scanf percentage d address of a how do you do that scanf in a086 that will be the content of the next video and if you're interested please like the videos subscribe the channel and do all these things that helps my channel to grow Okay? Okay, guys, then. Have a nice day. See you in the next part of the video. Bye-bye.